All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahar Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out of Tolan and his truth. I'm Pathaka Moth Jim S. Dallas. I'm just coming back at you with a really, really, really quick hit lesson. Uh, this is going into World War III, man, you know, because we're in the times of World War III, and it's, it's about to go down, man. You know what I'm saying? We're very, very close. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we know that things are not going to fully uh, 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 take off until the uh, they you know the implementation of the uh, uh, Karagma, you know, the MOT to the B. You know what I'm saying? You know, once that's uh, uh, made mandatory, then of course all of these things are going to pop off. But hey, these things are still in the news. These things are happening. You know, of course the scriptures go into that in, in Matthew, which we'll get it. But you know, the the uh, wars and rumors of wars. But World War Three is, is is heavily in, in, in rotation in the news right now and heavily in talks. You know, it's constantly going down. It's constantly news on World War Three because it's going to happen. It's biblical. It's prophesied. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's going to happen. But I'm going to uh, play this uh, uh, really quick uh, uh, clip from the elder out in uh, Vegas. Uh, it's, uh, as you can see, his uh, uh, page is GMS Vegas Sit Downs 144K. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the elder and be edified. You know, very edifying videos from the elder. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm gonna take a little excerpt from, from, from this video that he put up, Countdown to the Third Woe, Part Nine, World War Three News. And I'm gonna take this little excerpt from this video of uh, uh, talks with Putin. Of course, you're not gonna understand the, what he's saying, but but they're they're putting, uh, uh, what he's saying in, in English uh, in print. So uh, just uh, read if you can, or you can uh, you know go back and stop it and read once the video you know once the video pause the video or whatever. But uh, I'm gonna play this little excerpt and then we're gonna get some scriptures because hey, this is biblical man. It's all prophecy, playing out. So and we're we're getting very close. So without any further ado. Находится в состоянии боевой готовности. Это первое. А второе, и это тоже. И, и мы здесь продвинулись гораздо больше. У нас она, она более современная. И вся, вся ядерная составляющая. В целом по, по носителям и по, и по зарядам у нас примерный паритет. Но у нас более современный. Но это знают все. Специалисты все знают. Но это не значит, что мы должны мериться вот с количеством носителей и бой зарядов. Но знать об этом нужно. И те, кому нужно, повторяю, экспертам, специалистам, военным, я же вам скажу одну вещь, которая покажет, что в моих предпочтениях здесь ничего не меняется. А первое. Второе. Мы не вмешиваемся никак, ни в какие выборы. И, как я многократно говорил, будем работать с любым лидером, которому окажет доверие американский народ, американский избиратель. There's a more, you know, so they're they're ahead of uh, uh, of the U.S. man, and that's no that's no accident, man. You know, Russia is that main is the main nation that's set up in in the uh, uh, destruction of America, man. Of course, there's other nations that's going to be a part of that as well. China is one of them. You know what I'm saying? But 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 Russia is, is that main nation. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, when you read in Ezekiel the 37th chapter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Russia is that main nation. So. World War Three is biblical. You know what I'm saying? It's going to happen. You know, once the uh, implementation of the uh, uh, the C hip is a uh, uh, you know takes place, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's made mandatory. Then everything is going to pop off and and start moving very very quickly, man. And then of course, in the midst of all of, all of that, you know, the the, the war and everything, Yahweh Shah is going to make his return, man. You know, which we long for and we wait for. But it's all prophecy. So really quick, this is Revelations 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the most high for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. There it is, man. That's the, that's the testimony of Yahweh Shai himself, man. The spirit of prophecy. So it's all about prophecies. Uh, uh, Sirach uh, 39 and 1, you know what I'm saying? Be occupied in prophecies. 
uh, second Ezra is 15 and one. The Lord says, speaking to the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, you know, I believe it's in a uh, first Peter, uh, in the book of Peter, it says uh, that we have a more sure word of prophecy. It's all about prophecies. When you read in, uh, uh, the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, it says, uh, as a matter of fact, let me get that real quick. I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to read that one. Habakkuk, the second chapter. And I'll start at verse uh, two. This is Habakkuk two and two. And it reads, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. And the visions uh, 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 represents the prophecies, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, make it plain upon tables. The tables, the tables represent the scriptures, man. So the visions, those prophecies have been made plain up in this Bible, man. This book we're reading. It says that he may run that readeth it. So that's talking about the prophets, you know, the Lord showed his uh, secret, revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets, you know what I'm saying? So they're the ones who have the, the mysteries, the secrets of Yahweh Bashim Shah. He's making these things plain to his prophets. That's his mouthpiece in these times pursuing to the scriptures. Luke, the first chapter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 that he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets since the world began, roughly paraphrasing, you know what I'm saying? So. He speaks about, a, 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 as a matter of fact, in 2 Thessalonians, it goes into it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember exactly uh, how it's worded. Uh, consumed them with the words of his mouth, roughly paraphrasing. And that's that's uh, that's the prophets, man. You know what I'm saying? And the brightness of his coming, you know, which is when he makes his return, man. But but the, 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 the prophets are the mouthpiece, you know. So that's who's running because... When they read it, you know, so we've been given the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah, the, the discernment, the eye salve, you know, and these things have been broken down to the men of the Lord, the prophets, you know, through our teachers that taught us. And all of these men, you know, that were uh, uh, pre uh, uh, chosen from the foundation of the uh, of the world, you know, Ephesians, the first chapter, you know, that predestination, you know, Romans, the eighth chapter, that predestination, you know, and, and, and the, those men are, are being taught and they're going to teach. You know, so they're running that readeth it. You know, we're, we're the modern day heralds, you know, those uh, 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 like Paul Revere, the red coats are coming. You know, so we're out here, man. You know what I'm saying? We're the spiritual forecasters, the spiritual news reporters. You know what I'm saying? It's us, man. You know, if you can receive it, it says for uh, verse three, for the vision, the, 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 the prophecies is yet for an appointed time. You know, and we're in the appointed time of these things happening now. But at the end, because we're in the end, it shall speak. And not lie, and they're speaking loud and clear. Though it tarry, seems like it's taking a long time. Wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. There it is. So these, we're in these times, man. We're in the prophets in the time of the prophecies uh, uh, coming to pass, happening. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, there's a scripture that says I'm, I'm trying. I know it's in, it's, it's in Ezekiel. Uh, every prophet, every. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can I'm gonna type, try to type it in and find it real quick. Uh, let me see if I can find this real quick. So like you bear with me. This is Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 22. And it reads, son of man, what is that proverb? That ye have in the land of Israel, saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth. I'm talking about the prophecies, because these people don't believe, man. I have been saying that, you know, they, yeah, of course, they said that. We know that they said that back during the time of Noah, you know what I'm saying? When Noah was telling them it, telling them it was going to rain, man. You know what I'm saying? And he heard that same thing because it says, as in the days of, uh, of Noah, shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. And we hear that now, you know, how, yeah, y'all been saying that, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You know, which, you know, he heard that, you know, he was out there 120 years, you know. So after so many years pass by and they don't see nothing, you know, they law they it's like, oh, OK, this dude been saying this for 10 years now. He's been saying this for 20 years now. You know what I'm saying? Jake's attention span is very short, so they're not going to hang with you very long. Even there, I'm sure there were some people that came into it that did believe. And then after those years start floating by, you know, he's out there 50 years and no results, nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? Even some of them probably fell off. You know, you had you you got guys falling out of the truth now, man. So the thing, same things that happened then is happening now. But that's because they think that the visions faileth, which the Lord said that. And that's a proverb that's going to go away. Verse 23, it says, tell them, therefore, thus said the Lord, God, power, Yahweh Bashim power, I will make this proverb to cease 
and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. So these, these we're, we're, hey, we're at that point where the effect of every vision are, are about, we're there, man. Hey, now all of those doubters are about to see what it is. So us out here proclaiming these things and, and, and you know, because we believed, you know what I'm saying? We believe and we're out here, man. And we're, we're, hey, we're one of the people like, like we were, uh, uh, you know, told to do, commanded to do by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And, and World War Three is part of that, man. You know, it's part of the prophecies. You know, it's in the Bible, which I'm going to get some scriptures to prove that. But, uh, hey, man, it's going down. So, and you saw the video from Putin, man. You know, that main player that's going to be uh, uh, vital in the in the uh, destruction of America, man. You know what I'm saying? So, let's go to, let me stay in the book of Ezekiel. And we're going to get Ezekiel the second chapter in verse 10 real quick. And it reads, and he spread it before me. And it was written within and without, talking about the Bible, you know, on, on you know, each side of the pages. And there was written therein lamentation and mourning and woe. There it is. Woe means destruction. You know what I'm saying? So destruction is in the Bible, you know, and destruction comes by way of war, man. You know, those and we've had uh, uh, two uh, major uh, world wars and there is one prophesied uh remaining to happen that's prophesied man which let's get those real quick uh well real, real quick let me get uh real quick let's go let's jump over to revelations the eighth chapter you know it's revelations chapter eight and verse 13 and it reads and i beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven saying with a loud voice woe 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 to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. So there's an angel that set the vibration of war, woe, destruction in the earth, man. Because the scriptures tell you in Exodus, uh, I believe it's 15 and 3, if I'm not mistaken, that the uh, uh, the most high Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name, man. So the Lord is a man of war. So these things are going to happen uh, by way of war, man, you know, so those three world wars that were prophesied in the Bible, here it is, woe, 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 that's three woes, World War One, World War Two, and World War Three. you know what I'm saying, which is those three major destruct uh, de de uh, destructions that are prophesied in the scriptures, which the Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy, man, we, we, we went through the scriptures, man, so real quick, let's jump over to verse 9, we're going to jump down to verse 12, this is uh, Revelations uh, 9 and 12, and it reads, One woe is past, and behold, that means look, there come two woes more hereafter. Boom. Come on, man. You know, one woe has passed and two more woes to come. That's one world war or one destruction has passed. World War One, And behold, two woes more hereafter. So two more destructions two more world wars that was going to come after world war one you know which world war one happened you know that happened in the earth man you know what i'm saying <laughs> that's that's recorded in history it's documented man world war one you can go in and pull up youtube and find a, a footage on world war one you know documentaries and all kind of things on these wars man you know so let real quick let's jump over to uh, chapter 11 Still in Revelations, this is Revelations chapter 11, and we're going to jump down to verse 14. And it reads, Revelations 11 and 14, the second woe is past. So the second woe, of course, we had the first woe, which was World War I. Now here is in, in Revelations 11 and 14, it says the second woe is past. You know, so World War II has happened and passed as well, man. You know what I'm saying? And it reads, and behold, the third woe. Woe cometh quickly. The third woe, World War Three, cometh quickly, man. You know what I'm saying? So boom, there it is. World War Three is on its way, man. You know what I'm saying? World War One happened. It was prophesied, and it said there was two more woes to come, two more world wars, two more destructions. World War Two happened and passed. We're reading that right here, and it says the second woe has is passed. That second world's war, that second destruction, that second woe, and behold, the third cometh the third woe cometh quickly so the third woe the third destruction the third world's war cometh quickly 
You know, and that's what you're seeing when you see things like this, that that interview with Putin right there. You know, where, where Putin is saying that their triads are, are, are more uh, uh, more advanced, more powerful than the U.S. is. And the U.S. and Russia are the only ones who has them. So, boom, Russia is on. Hey, man, Russia is ready, man. Ready. Russia is ready for war, man. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's on the Lord when he, uh, uh, you know, puts the spirit on these devils to actually move. But of course, we know these things are not going to happen till the, uh, uh, the MOT to the B is uh, 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 implemented and made mandatory. And then th these things are all going to pop off and everything's going to move quickly, uh, uh, you know, according to Apostle Tahar, which, of course, you know, he's a man of the Lord. You know, that's our, that's our teacher. And we be we believe, you know what I'm saying? We believe the, uh, the Lord is dealing with, with, with Apostle Tahar. And, and you know, when that when when he speaks, you know, hey, we listen. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a beautiful thing. But this 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 knowledge is beautiful. So that third world world's war is about to come quickly. And all these things, again, are prophesied in the scriptures. You will read them. You see it. You see it, which is the which is the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and we're in a time of these things. So real quick, let's get one more. This is Matthew chapter 24. And verse six. Get to the point, verse 6, it reads, Matthew 24 and 6, And ye shall hear of wars and of rumors of wars. So you hear the rumors of it. You see all these this, these different uh, uh, news outlets and, and, and reports, you know, the different uh, n n uh, media news sources, you know, that's that's giving all these different updates and, 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 you know, different reports on World War III, things that Putin has said, you know, things that America is demoved at every, you know, all these different uh, uh, China, the Houthis and, uh, and all these different, you know, everything that's happening and, and they're reporting it, man. You know, those, these are all wars and rumors of wars, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye, see that ye be not troubled. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be troubled by this. And of course the elect is not going to be troubled because of Isaiah 33 and six. As a matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Then I'll come back. Isaiah 33. In verse 6, this is why the elect is not going to be troubled. And this is why he said that. Isaiah 33 and 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You know, so, boom, the fear of the Lord brings the wisdom. You know, that's going to allow you to, you know, like it says in the very beginning, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. That wisdom is going to allow you to be stable. So you're not going to be troubled. You're not going to panic. You're not going to fear. You're not going to start moving hastily because of things that's happening in the earth like these other people are going to do because the Lord gave you knowledge and wisdom. We're, 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 we're moving according to the knowledge and wisdom. We know these things have to happen. So why are we going to panic and go crazy when we know it's just prophecy playing out? You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Knowledge and knowledge and wisdom and wisdom and knowledge shall be the uh, stability of thy times. Going to keep keep us stable and strength of salvation because it's going to get you through to to be saved. The fear of the Lord is his, is his treasure because that fear of the Lord is going to bring that 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 knowledge and wisdom that's going to uh, bring the the other things. You know what I'm saying? So let's go back to uh, Matthew the twenty fourth chapter because as a matter of fact, uh, Yahusha is going to go into that. You know. It says, Matthew 24 and 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. Isaiah 33 and 6. We just read it. For all these things must come to pass. See, all these things must happen. They're, they must needs be. You know, it's part of the storyline. You know what I'm saying? It's part of the prophecies that Yahweh is the spirit of. So we, hey, bro, why are you bugging out when you know that, man? Come on, man. Stop, bro. You know? That's why it says, and knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. You know, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. It says, uh, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet because there's still things that have to happen. Of course, we just we just mentioned them. You know, MOT to the B has to be made uh, mandatory. Still have to uh, have World War Three have pop off and happen. You know what I'm saying? And of course, then your house is going to make his uh, entrance and return. And then it's on from there. But here's the point. For nation shall rise against nation, uh, those uh, the, the the race uh, wars and riots out here in the streets, and kingdom against kingdom. There it is, your uh, uh, your uh, World War Three, man. You know what I'm saying? Kingdom against kingdom. That's these nations, uh, 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 these countries rising up against each other and fighting the third woe, the third world's war, man. That third and final destruction. 
Armageddon, Armagadwan, Armagadwan in the Hebrew. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginnings of sorrow. Sorrows. So, you know, all these things are happening, man. There's a there's a famine being ma manufactured by these devils, you know. That's the, hey, things are about to change, man, drastically in the earth. But again, the, the primary point is World War Three is about to prop, uh, pop off. It's it's uh, biblical, it's prophecy, and it's about to happen. And Russia and Putin is ready, man. You know what I'm saying? Your Yahweh Shai, your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gearing them up and, and preparing them, man, and getting them ready for this third this third world's war, man, which is about to happen. So, Lord willing, this is edifying to the hopeful elect. With that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahawah Kaku Dash. Uh, double, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath Shah Dawadah Shalom.